This Sunday marks 21 years since the 9-11 terror attack. Thousands of military members and first responders gathered alongside members of the community today for a 5K run in memory of those who served and the lives lost. Here's Kaylin Hagward. Running for purpose. I really, really want to support everyone who did serve during that time, even though I was not able to at the time. Thousands in and out of uniform gathered in Columbia Friday for the annual Tunnels to Towers 5K, honoring those who served on 9-11 and remembering the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Well, let's see the true heroes are given the passion by God to be able to serve those that they don't even know as well as those that they do know. So we carry on this tradition to be able to remember that and honor and respect it. According to organizers, the program began in New York before coming to Columbia nine years ago in memory of Stephen Siller, a New York fireman off duty who returned on 9-11 to serve. And instead of going home, he put on his bunker gear and he had it with him and he ran through the Battery Street Tunnel to get back to work and then ultimately lost his life uh, you know, when the towers fell. So uh, that's what they honor, that's what the foundation honors. The foundation now hosts 5Ks around the country with the proceeds providing homes to military and first responders. Solemn reason why we do what we do, but at the end of the day, we're helping that family and honoring the service of their loved one. Regardless of the call to service, each branch together as one. Let's just remember what's the reason we put our uniform on every morning. It's bigger than us. Never forgetting the history that changed the nation. In Columbia, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. Well, on Sunday, Governor McMaster will join members of the military and first responders to reflect on the events of 9-11. That's at 840 at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center on Lincoln Street.